welcome all of you for our very first kickoff event for the Bicentennial of 2003. My name is Sandra Winnett. This is my cohort here, Jean Cornell. We're co-chairman of the Ohio Bicentennial Committee. I want to hope that you can forgive my voice tonight. I've had a cold all week. Jean's had a cold all week. So he says to me, he says, well, why don't you do the talking? I said, well, I don't know if my voice will hold up. He says to me, he says, well, you're a woman, aren't you? I said, well, yeah, I guess we, that's all it takes. But we wanted to thank our professionals that we have here tonight, Jody Hansen from Charm Creation Photography from Ada, who's going to take our pictures of the royalty. We have Richard Catterjohn and Adam Fletcher doing filming for the Bicentennial. We have Dick Aller doing still photos. We want to thank those people for giving of their time and talent here tonight and for helping us in our endeavors. As you know, this is a kickoff for a whole year celebration. Tonight we have the dance and the crowning of the royalty. Tomorrow at 1 o'clock, if you don't have anything to do, come up to the north side of the courthouse. We're going to dedicate a time capsule. The time capsule is back there at this table, if you care to see it. We have uh, approximately 55, 57 items in that time capsule right now. We're up to 100, you said. Oh, okay, up to 100. The time capsule was painted by Mr. Star Martin, and Bartol Company uh, donated the vault that it's going to sit in, and also the plaque that goes on the top of it there at the courthouse. And then tomorrow evening at 7 o'clock at the Kenton Middle School, we're having a pageant. Why study history? It has 14 different vignettes or scenes pertaining to the history of Hardin County. And I'm sure that you'll find that this is going to be very entertaining. I've heard that the people that perform in this are very, very good. We want to thank the Hardin County Players Association, Margot and Alan Chase, for writing that program and getting the volunteers and taking their time to do all the practice. We want you to know that every event that we have for this whole year will be free. That's the way we've got it planned. So you will notice on your programs tonight, there are a list of donors. So the next time you go into one of their establishments, tell them thank you for making these things possible. On July the 4th, we're gonna be with the Bicentennial Freedom Celebration 2003 with the current 4th of July committee. We're going to have a parade that starts at 1 o'clock that day. The parade route will proceed east on Fairground, north on North Main, west on Columbus, south on Detroit to Fontaine, down Fontaine to Fairground Road, and back to the fairgrounds. Now this is the very first time ever that we have had a paid sponsor for this parade. Flagship Auto Center here in Kenton, Ohio has donated $1,000 to be used to put on a fantastic parade for the citizens of Hardin County. We think that's very tremendous because this is the very first time ever that we're going to judge the floats that are entered and then everybody that is in the parade will get a participant ribbon. And we have, of course, other ribbons that we're going to be giving out also. And then that day will continue on. And as you can see, Gene here, he's growing his beard. We're going to have a beard contest. We're going to judge the longest, the ugliest, the neatest, and the longest mustache, handlebar mustache. And that one is being underwritten by Home Savings and Loan. Then we're going to have a vintage best dress couple and individual, classic car, tractor, and motorcycle show by Mr. Charles Green and Dunkirk's going to run that. We're going to have a countywide talent show. So if any of you think you have some talent, please sign up and come out and perform in front of the grandstands the evening of July the 4th for the countywide talent show. We're going to have a flag raising and flyover ceremony. We're going to have C-130s. They're supposed to fly in very, very low, right at 1 o'clock, as we have the flag raising. Now, we're hoping that that becomes a reality, but we do want the public to understand that due to the situation in Iraq, it all depends upon whether the National Guard is going to permit those planes to fly. 
We're going to have a local art display by Mr. Herb Oberleitner. going to run that. We're going to have wagon rides, a three-on-three -three basketball tournament. We have a history of Hardin County churches to be viewed. There's approximately 30-some churches that have agreed to come and present their history. In the Hardin County schools, history, Hardin County Granges, and histories of Hardin County business. And we've also invited the other towns in Hardin County, like Ada, Alger, McGuffey, Mount Victory, Forest, to bring the history of their town and put it on display. We'll have the Unchained Eagles there. The local Amish are also going to come to the fairgrounds and sell their wares that day. Then we'll, of course, try to have as many food vendors there as possible so that you can all get a bite to eat or something cool to drink. We want you to understand that on, this is a three-day event, so July the 5th continues on with the history of everything, then a three-on-three -three basketball tournament, a dress your pet contest. So if you want to dress your pet up, bring him out and parade him around the fairgrounds. Then we're going to have a horse show that starts that morning at 8 o'clock, and a spelling bee. Several of you here might think that you're an excellent speller. We're going to have an adult class, so come on out and give it a try. And then, of course, we will all have a, a swap meet and a craft show and different things. And then on Sunday, we begin with our church services at the uh, fairgrounds in the grandstand. And then three on um, three basketball. And then we're having a baking contest. Mary Lou Haley is running that for us. Then we're also asking anybody in Hardin County that makes pizza for a living to bring, bring their pizzas to the fairground and we will have a pizza cook-off. You will go in and buy a slice of pizza or samples of pizza. Then you will be allowed to vote for whichever pizza you think is the best pizza in Hardin County. We're going to have square line dancing by Russ K. Hill. And then, of course, the histories will be on display again. And then later that evening, we'll have karaoke by Mike Hamilton. That is what's going to have the 4th, 5th, and 6th. And also, remember, July the 2nd through the 6th, Chautauqua is going to be out by the county fairground at the Historical Museum. Those performances will be free. They will be given every night. They're bringing in a 60-foot by 90-foot tent. And in that tent will be 500 chairs. You will not have to sit on bleachers. You will have a chair to sit on and it will be handicap accessible. So please try to come out and see all the performances of Chautauqua. I've talked to several people that state that they remember by talking to their parents that when Chautauqua used to come to town, that the whole family went out to the fairgrounds or Piper Station or Piper Slot out on West Franklin Street and camped for the whole week so that they wouldn't miss anything. And then we'll also have a demolition derby on July the 6th. Then September the 2nd and the 3rd, we're going to cast the bell for Hardin County. We will have a passing of the ingots by the school children, and then the breaking of the bell casting, and the first ring of the bell. And then that bell will be put on display. That bell will become the property of the Hardin County Commissioners, and they plan on having that presented in such a way that it can be taken throughout the county to different festivals and everything before it's permanently mounted somewhere so that everybody in the county gets a chance to see this bell. Now you're probably asking, well, they seem to have this pretty well organized. But I'm telling you, we still need volunteers. So if you think that you would like to help us out, give Gina or I a call. We're both in the phone book. We would love to hear from you. We need people to help us for the parade, to decorate the stores and the homes, and poster contests and everything that we have planned. We're going to need more help. So we're glad to see that you're all here tonight, and we hope that you enjoy this and have a fun evening. At this time, I would like to introduce Cheryl Spears. Cheryl is our, one of our members of our committee, and Cheryl is with the DAR. And the DAR is running the contest tonight that names the king and the queen. So, Cheryl?
is your uh, bicentennial royalty for Harvard County. And we're going to announce them and thank you for as well. The guys don't get a crown. We thought about it, but we thought it would be kind of cool. Mr. Harvard County is Andrew Mulholland. If the parents want to stand as we introduce them, um, he is a senior at Kenton High School. He is the son of Larry and Kathy Mulholland from Forest. Miss Hardin County is Chelsea Corbin. She's a junior at Riverdale High School and a first year cosmetology student. She is the daughter of Rick and Angela Corbin of Forest. <laughs> junior Mr. Hardin County is Ryan Gilbert. He is a third grader at Riverdale Forest Elementary School and he is the son of Stephen Sarah Gilbert. Miss Hardin County is Mackenzie Price. She is a, a third grader at Ridgemont Elementary in Mount Victory, and her parents are Scott and Tracy Martin of Mount Victory and Michael Price of New Bloomington. And our bicentennial court um, is comprised of some really outstanding young ladies also. Shekinah Corbin, who is a sixth grader at Riverdale Elementary School, who is the daughter of Rick and Angela Corbin of Forest. Claire Long, who is a third grader at Hardin Central, and she's the daughter of Harry and Amy Long. Reagan Middleton, who is the daughter of Sean and Kim Middleton, and she is a fourth grader at Hardin Central. <laughs> Emily Shaw, who is the daughter of Rex and Kristen Shaw of Kenton, and is a third grader at Hardin Central. <laughs> and I rudely did not introduce the ladies up here with me. Um, there's Barb Wood, who is the regent of the Tort MacArthur chapter of the DAR, and Joanne Vermillion, who is our chaplain. And we do have a special guest of honor here tonight. We have Mrs. Heppel, and she has the distinction of being Miss Hardin County in 1933.
she did a lot of planning beforehand, and I hope you realize that uh, this was put together by many hands. I do not want to keep you away from the Wolf Creek Band very long. This is the Wolf Creek Center Band, and uh, they have dedicated their time to come here tonight, and we really appreciate them. Please give them a big hand. Thank you. 